A good character is the backbone in order to attract viewers to a show. By showcasing a clear character arc with highs and lows, the viewer is able to sympathize, relate, and most importantly, grow alongside the character. This leaves the viewer with a sense of attachment to the characters, which is how you create stakes and build anticipation. A great example of a well-executed character arc is that of Akane Tsunemori, who is my favorite character in Psychopaths. At the start of Psychopaths, she takes on a new role. She is a fresh graduate from college, just starting her new line of work in criminal investigations. This is done on purpose. By introducing a character into a new setting, she offers the viewer a way into the world of Psychopaths. She is new and therefore questions and challenges the way things work, which in turn helps the viewer understand the world of Psychopaths and how it operates. Early on, she is a character that you can see in other shows, being diligent but somewhat naive recruit, but she goes into her own and becomes a very interesting character. Akane graduated top of her class and had a variety of appealing jobs to choose from. However, she also received the highest grade for the Public Safety Bureau and decided to work for the Bureau to attain a sense of fulfillment and positively affect the world. One thing that is established early on, which is a critical pillar to her character, is that although she is trusting of the system and society, she is extremely stubborn when it comes down to her morals. She often gives criminals the benefit of the doubt based on her evaluation and gives them second chances to reform rather than using the dominator in lethal mode. The dynamic between her and Kogami becomes very interesting as it is a bit reminiscent of a good cop bad cop dynamic but quickly becomes more interesting as they both change through their experiences and find out the truth about society but diverge and, ad and decide to address it in very different ways which I'll get to later. One of the most difficult scenes to watch in the show is the murder of Akane's friend or the antagonist Makashima. Akane is given a chance to save her friend's life, but due to what has been instilled into her by society and the so-called utopian world, she is unable to save her friend's life and is forced to watch her die in front of her. I would be lying if I said this did not initially frustrate me upon watching it. However, when you realize how much of the guilt and hesitance the dominators remove from these inspectors, it makes sense. In this world, civil is law, it is judge, jury, and executioner, and all the investigators do is simply give it an outlet to carry his judgment. This is the fundamental flaw Makshima is trying to point out when he gives her a traditional gun to shoot him with. But due to her indecisiveness, she is unable to. Because of what's been instilled into her by society and the high stakes of the situation, it simply breaks her down, and understandably so. With a traditional gun, it is her hand being bloodied, and if she misses, she can even kill her friend with her own hands, and this leads to her indecisiveness. For Akane, this is the turning point of her character, as she finally understands the weight of carrying out judgment and the lengths Makshima is willing to go to. She is blessed with the ability to keep her crime coefficient low, regardless of the situation, due to her extreme mental resilience. By the end of the first season, Akane goes through tremendous change. She finds out the truth behind Sybil's corrupt system and makes a deal with the system deciding not to reveal its true nature. She realizes that Sybil is needed to run the society, even if they are going about it in the wrong way, and hopes she can improve or bring change to the system to reach a truly just system. I really enjoy that while she believes this is the right thing to do, she is conflicted and bothered by it because of the faults of the system. While she is forgiving and considerate most of the time, she is also sensible and is able to understand both sides to any argument. This relates to the previous point about the dynamic between her and Kogumi. Where Kogumi chose to destroy and abolish the system, she chose to slowly improve it and have it revealed to the world one day so that people can understand what's truly happening. The story took two different characters, revealed aspects of the world to them, and explore the differing answers they both came up with. Ultimately, Akane is not a typical main heroine. She comes into the story established with her own sense of morals, but through experiences and the situations the story puts her through, we see her develop into a very reliable and resilient inspector. Her thought process and changes in her character are logical and justified, and it's impressive how she is able to constantly carry on through tragedies, as well as being one of the few with an understanding of how her society truly works. She is able to bring out the best in other characters, like Ginoza and Kogami, and is able to make the viewers truly care about what happens to her. And for me, that is a phenomenal character growth arc.